Happy New Year, St. Thomas. This is Father Brian Coleman checking in with you mm -hmm. as we begin the year 2021 mm -hmm. after what has been a harrowing year 2020. When we look back at all the adversity that we have had to face, all of the challenges mm -hmm. that have come our way, we have much to be thankful for. Mm -hmm. And we offer our prayers for those who continue to struggle in the midst of this pandemic, those who are affected by mm -hmm. the economic mm -hmm. troubles, those who are sick, those suffering from the disease, those who grieve, those who have lost loved ones and have not been able to grieve as we normally would. All of those I have especially in mind as we begin a new year, full of hope, um, full of trust in God to bring us through whatever we have to face with some trepidation at the winter that lies ahead of us. Um, but I invite you to join me in prayer, um, a prayer that I found especially meaningful by the president of the Children's Defense Fund, Marion Wright Edelman. Let us pray. O oh God, who can turn our worries into wings of joy and our sorrows into songs of thanks. Let not our hearts be so troubled by the tragedies of this life that we lose sight of the eternal life of your kingdom. Give comfort and solace to our companions who suffer almost unbearable losses every second, minute, and hour in our world. Strengthen our resolve to replace hatred with love, tension with trust, and selfishness with caring and community. Heal, O oh God, all your children, so that those who hate and those who are hated, those who hurt and those who are hurt, may grow up in a world of peace, opportunity, and justice. Amen. So with that prayer, I leave you and I look forward to seeing you soon, I hope, and I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless you.